We chose our players, first of all, in a way where we wanted to have talent. We didn't want to have necessarily, uh, let's say, washer players like myself. Venter, Venter is our top laner, and I think this guy is probably the best German top laner there is, so that's always a plus, but he also has the upside of just being so versatile with the champion pool. He has so many different counter picks ready for the top lane. And I think that's a really good addition, especially for uh, lower leagues where laning phase means a lot more. Uh, Lurox is basically uh, someone that reminds me a lot of myself. Uh, he plays really similarly, he talks really similarly. Uh, not sure if he's going to end up as good as me, but no, I'm joking. Um, it's obviously uh, just a good thing to have someone that I can identify myself with and I can actually help out and see um, what he's gone through and what he's going to go through and I can help him with that. And for the mid lane, Sertus, who is a really young talent, he's 17, uh, well, he just turned 17, which is uh, like crazy to think about given the fact that I'm 24 and I've been playing league still or I'm still playing league. So he will definitely need a bit of time to basically get used to the competitive scene, but I think the upsides of him is just the, way, uh, the ability for him to uh, just dominate the laning phase and I think that's something we looked for in the mid lane. Uh, for the AD carry position we chose Cedrian, uh, we went through a couple but we decided in the end to have someone that is um, mature enough to basically lead uh, the game at certain times and I think AD carries nowadays especially have to be able to communicate the power spikes uh, is good for us and he's going to be able to lead our young support who's going to be Bravado, a 17 year old uh, Swedish Swedish support, our only actual import. He has so many kind of picks and the communication with, uh, or the combination with Saturn is actually going to be really good for him because he's going to be able to learn from a, a AD carry that is still talented, that still has like potential ways to go, but it also has like a lot of routine and um, years behind him in the competitive scene. Yeah, I think 2019 is going to be a good year for us and I think we're going to be better than I anticipated because I have talent and like already really good players, established players that can dominate the scene if they want to. So if we put two and two together, I do hope that we have found some talents that at some point I can talk about as uh, Schalke LEC players potentially even. But um, for now, obviously, I have players that I'm really comfortable with and really happy with.